There's something about the sound of a record. The warmth, the imperfections. It feels human. But this time it feels different because I'm listening to it without even using my ears. And yes, you heard me right. I'm hearing everything through headphones that bypass my ears entirely. And it feels completely normal. It's one of those moments where you think, this shouldn't even work. And yet it does. And that got me wondering, how can I hear something that never actually passes through my ears? To understand why, you need to know how hearing usually works. Well, normally, sounds move through air. Tiny waves of pressure that hit your eardrum and make it vibrate. Then those vibrations travel through the three tiniest bones in your body. The hammer, the anvil, and the stirrup. Into a spiral shape changer called the cochlea. Inside the cochlea are thousands of microscopic hair cells, each one tuned into specific frequencies. Low tones make certain hair sway slowly, while high tones make others tremble fast. That pattern, which hairs move and by how much, is how your brain knows what you're hearing. And that's pretty much just regular air conduction, hearing through air vibrations. And that's how we've pretty much been hearing all this time. Instead, these are bone conduction headphones, and these skip that route entirely. Tiny transducers flex thousands of times per second, sending micro vibrations through your bones and skull straight into your cochlea, bypassing the eardrum completely. And that's the twist, you're hearing without your ears. This is the same reason why your voice sounds weird over recording. When you speak, your voice sounds deeper inside your own head because you're always hearing a little bit through your skull, even when you don't realize it. And if you don't believe me, just cover both your ears and hum. Mm. That sound you're hearing, that's straight bone conduction. The brain doesn't care how those vibrations arrived. Air, water, bone, as long as the cochlea moves, it just says cool sound. Now, I'm no audiophile by any means, but I do dabble in a good pair of cans. Probably a lot more than I should. And while I love having a high quality listening experience, let's be honest, good headphones aren't always practical. Somehow these cheap $40 headphones I grabbed off Amazon end up being my most used pair. And this isn't a sponsored video or anything, I truly just love this tech. Not because they sound good or anything, but because of the utility they provide me. These are the ultimate open ear design, so I can listen to music or podcasts while hearing what's happening around me. It's great when I'm chatting with someone or biking around town or just trying not to get hit by a car. And because they don't need an opening to push out air, they can be completely sealed which makes them 100% waterproof. I can wear these in the shower or when I'm swimming, or in my favorite case, fishing, without having to worry about one of my earbuds slipping off into the river which has now led me into a new kind of problem. Being that lone Asian guy standing waist deep in a river, giggling to himself while listening to my favorite podcast. As people walk by wondering if I'm okay. And while it's a bit hard for me to explain, the strange part about all this is how ordinary this feels. You're literally turning vibrations into sound and your brain just goes along with it. That's the magic of this engineering taking something unnatural and making it feel completely human. Each of these little pads are pulsing thousands of times per second, sending microscopic waves through my bones, and somehow my brain interprets that chaos as music, as voices, as meaning. The hardest part is not even making the vibrations, it's shaping it. Bone doesn't carry every frequency the same way. Some tones glide right through while others just fade out or distort completely. So the trick isn't just brute force, it's finesse. Designing vibrations that match what your bones do best. So what reaches our brains feel smooth, balanced, and alive. It's less about loudness and more about translation. Teaching technology how to speak the language of our body. We might think of technology as something that replaces what we already do, but sometimes it just reminds us how incredible the original design was. Bone conduction doesn't reinvent hearing, it just finds another path in. It's sound without air and music without ears. And it's proof that sometimes the most futuristic tech is the kind that works with us, not against us.